All right, so this is a red LED with a 648 nanometer wavelength emitted. Where is that? out? There we go. This is, you can't read it, but just trust me, it is a red laser pointer that emits, oh, I saw it on here once. I want to say 450. I think it says like 440 to 455 on it. So 450. About two nanometers off of what the LED produces. Pretty close. So it's going to actually hit, right? Now, cool thing about LEDs, they work as solar cells as well. In fact, as you can see, it's picking up about six millivolts just off the ambient light. So now check this out. Get my finger out of the way, good job there. Okay. See if I can aim while looking at the camera. Boom. Look at that, over one point, if I can hold it steady, it'll get 1.3 volts. Come on. Kind of a bad angle on the LED, you need to reset it. You saw a peak there though. Come on. There we go, see 1.3. Now, this is a purple laser. Shines, no, we're not playing with lasers. Kitty who wants to play with lasers. Shining at roughly 405 nanometers. Oh, that actually produces quite a bit more current than it did before. So I will have to keep that at mind. But it produces about half the current, which if I use the right MOSFET, won't be enough to send it to drain and basically will filter it out. To be continued.